Have you ever wondered how to choose the right beehive? This question hits at the heart of beekeeping, a craft that's as ancient as it is crucial. The choice of a beehive significantly influences the health of your buzzing workforce, and in turn, the quality and quantity of the sweet nectar they produce. It's a decision that carries weight, and one that can seem overwhelming. Choosing the right beehive may seem daunting, but fear not, we're here to guide you through it. When it comes to choosing the right beehive, several factors come into play. Now, let's dive into those factors. First off, location. Your geographical location will greatly influence the type of beehive you'll want to choose. For instance, if you're in a city, you might need a more compact and less obvious beehive like a top bar or wara hive. But if you're in a rural area with plenty of space, a Langstroth hive could be a perfect fit. Next, climate. Bees are pretty resilient, but the type of hive you choose can help them withstand harsh weather conditions. In colder climates, hives with thicker walls like the Langstroth can provide better insulation. On the other hand, in warmer climates, a top bar hive might be more suitable as it allows for better ventilation. Thirdly, bee species. Did you know that there are over 20,000 species of bees in the world? While not all of them are honey producers, the species you're planning to keep will affect your choice of hive. Some bee species prefer smaller, more enclosed spaces, while others thrive in larger, more open designs. Now let's talk about experience level. If you're a beginner beekeeper, simplicity might be your best friend. A top bar hive is often recommended for beginners due to its simplicity and ease of management. But if you're a seasoned beekeeper looking for high honey production, a Langstroth hive might be more up your alley. Finally, remember that choosing a beehive requires careful research and planning. Consider joining local beekeeping clubs or online forums to learn from experienced beekeepers. Read up on the pros and cons of different hive types and don't be afraid to ask questions. It's a learning curve, but with time and experience, you'll find the perfect hive for your needs. With these factors in mind, you're well on your way to making an informed decision. Now, let's unravel the mystery of different types of beehives. First up, we have the Langstroth hive. This is the most popular hive worldwide and often the go-to for beginner beekeepers. Its design is based on bee space, a concept that optimizes the space between frames to encourage bees to build their honeycomb in an orderly manner and minimizes the risk of bees gluing together frames with propolis. The Langstroth hive is modular, allowing for easy expansion and honey extraction. However, it can become quite heavy when full of honey, making it difficult to handle without proper equipment. Next, we have the top bar hive. This is a simpler, more naturalistic style of beehive. The bees build their own comb from a single top bar, allowing them to dictate their own cell size and structure. This approach is more in tune with the bees' natural behavior and requires less equipment than the Langstroth hive. But it's not all roses. The downside is that the honey yield is often lower and the fragile comb can be easily damaged during inspections. Finally, we have the War Hive, named after its French inventor, Abbe Emile War. This hive is a hybrid of the Langstroth and Top Bar hives, combining the best of both worlds. It is designed to mimic a hollow tree, the bee's natural habitat. It's compact, efficient, and requires less manipulation than the Langstroth hive. However, it does require more frequent inspections to prevent swarming and can be more challenging to harvest honey from than a Langstroth hive. Each of these hive types has its unique features, advantages and disadvantages. The Langstroth hive is highly productive but requires more equipment. The top bar hive is simple and natural but yields less honey. The war hive is compact and efficient but requires frequent inspections and careful handling during honey extraction. Understanding the characteristics of these hives will help you align your choice with your specific needs. So, you've considered all the factors and learned about different types of beehives. Now, how do you make the final decision? When it comes to making your final decision, it's all about balancing the pros and cons. This is where the factors we discussed earlier come into play. It's not just about the type of beehive, but also about considering your own comfort, ease of handling, and your bees' well-being. Think about your local climate and how different hives might fare. A hive that thrives in a Mediterranean climate might not do as well in the frosty winters of the north. Likewise, consider the local flora. Bees need a diverse diet, so consider if your area can provide that for your chosen hive. Consider your own physical comfort too. 
Some hives are heavy and require more physical strength to manage, while others are more lightweight. If you have any physical limitations, this could be a deciding factor. Remember, beekeeping is a commitment. Are you ready to invest the time necessary to maintain and monitor the hive? Every hive requires dedication and care, but some may require more of your time and resources than others. Lastly, think about your bees. After all, a happy bee is a productive bee. Your hive should provide your bees with a safe, comfortable home. Remember, the right beehive is the one that meets your needs and ensures the well-being of your bees. So, to wrap up, choosing the right beehive involves careful consideration of several factors. We've journeyed through the buzz-filled world of beekeeping, and I hope you've gleaned some valuable insights. Firstly, we discussed the importance of considering factors such as your location and climate. Remember, your bees' home must be a safe haven that caters to their needs, and these factors play a significant role in determining that. We then delved into the diverse world of beehives, exploring a variety of types, each with its own unique perks and quirks. From the traditional Langstroth to the innovative Flow Hive, understanding these differences is key to finding the perfect match for you and your buzzing friends. Finally, we touched on the process of making an informed decision. It's all about weighing the pros and cons, taking into account your personal circumstances, and making a choice that best suits your needs. With this guide, you are now equipped to choose the right beehive. Happy B!